All right, what is happening, champions? Here we are in Live Oaks with the SU-100Y, the box tank. And this is going to be a very fun match, very easy for me to win it. Um, tier 6 maximum match. I'm one of two Tier 6 on our team. And basically, when you get into this kind of match, it's just a slaughter. You get in here and you just dominate. It gives me the same feeling that I get when I am driving the Iron Whale, the FCM 36 Pack 40 in a Tier 3 maximum match. You just get in and have fun. You're you're a lot more superior than the tanks around you. Um, and it's easy to use that superiority to just get tons of kills and leave, you know. <laughs> it's it it really is very fun with this. I mean, I'm not going to get a ton of kills in this match, but none of them are really hard to get. Um, like I said earlier, two tier 6s on our team, two si tier 6s on their team, but one of them's artillery and the other one's a tank destroyer. Uh, yeah. So when you get into this match, it's kind of like kicking puppies, which is a very terrible uh, analogy um, from a moral aspect. But it's, it's it's pretty good from the, the the comparison. You know, it's you just get in here and dominate, uh, and we're gonna see that. So we'll get up here on the tank shore hill. We can already see a T25 and a Stug three. Uh, another thing about this uh, tank is Stugs get one-shotted by it. it uh, if I do hit this Stug, I'm going to destroy him with one shot, usually. Uh, this tank just does that. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm trying to get a shot on something. Uh, I really want this Stug. He's a dangerous machine. He's got to be taken out. Oh, we got a PZ-3 down here. And boom, one shot, just like I'm saying. Uh, he's a tier four. He really didn't stand a chance. Just blew him right up. And that was with a standard shell. I'm not using my premium right now. Although I am quite big, you know, and my camel value is very poor. And when I get spotted, then, then you have to be concerned. You have to back off. up around here. Artillery's trying to make a effort to kill us. So we got to be very conscious of the fact that artillery are firing at this hill or they have it zeroed in and they're ready for somebody to pop up for them to shoot at. T25 showing up again. He's doing a really good job of hiding from me. This M4 might be revealing his position to the artillery, but I don't care. Um, you definitely want to, or don't want to knock down trees when the artillery has a bead on your position, because then they'll just shoot where the trees are being knocked down. He appeared back over here. Let's see if we can get some kind of a shot on him. Oh, he's moving. Which way is he going? Move forward. There we go. Perfect. Only 71 damage, but I got the kill. Move up here. Churchill 1. Don't have a shot on him yet. Oh, Wolverine. Okay, here we go. We're spotting some people now. Let's take a shot at this Wolverine. One shot. He's out of play. Back off. Back off. Yep, stuff is starting to shoot at that M4 now. An Electo and an M7. We'll go for the Electo. He's kind of a smaller target. There we go. We got him. Perfect. One shot. As you can see, just kicking puppies, just slaughtering the enemy team. Don't really give a crap. M7. Oh, he's gone. Let's see here. And there's only... It's 9-4. to four. So we are winning quite comfortably right now, but our flank down here is very exposed, and we're going to reposition in a way that will allow us to protect this flank. I come up here and hide in a bush, even though my camo value is not very good. I do have a lot of crew members trained up in camo, and I have uh, camouflage painted on my tank to help a little bit. I think it's like 5% added camo value. 
I don't want to give up anything to put a camo net on. I've got my enhanced gun lane drive, my medium caliber tank gun rammer, and my improved ventilations. I don't, none of those I want to give up. Um, so I don't, I don't equip a camo net on this, but I will train my crew members up in camo. And it's very wise to do so, because you are a tank destroyer, and even though you have a poor camo value, you can still get it up to the position or the the point to which it can conceal you, can hide you, as long as you're behind a bush. Oh, SU-100. So here's their only tier 6 on their team. Watch what we do to him. <laughs> he gets hit. And I am a rack him. <laughs> Very unnecessary to do so, but I did it. So we got a Hetzer here. He's the only thing left. I just have to kill him to get my top gun. Uh, this is kind of where I fail. This is my little bit of a failure. <laughs> that lead was a little obnoxious. <laughs> Come on. Um, yeah, so I missed there. And I'm sitting here thinking, oh, God, I'm not going to get a shot on this guy. The other guy shoots, damages him just to the point where I can shoot. There we go. And I didn't need to uh, steal the kill, but I got it. Which gets me my top gun. SU-100 in a tier 6 maximum game where I'm only one of four tier 6s in the match, uh, you're going to destroy. You're going to do great. You're going to make tons of money and you're not going to be worried about anything. So let's go to the after battle results screen. Alright, so that was another match in the SU-100Y and I, sometimes showing you these matches is just, uh, it's not even worth it because it is just so ridiculously unbalanced. This tank in a Tier five or no tier six match maximum match is just uh, it's just ridiculous. I mean, it's just like kicking puppies. You're gonna you're just gonna destroy everything. You know what I mean? It's it, this tank with its 130 millimeter cannon and 195 millimeters penetrations with with an average of 400 damage versus tier fours. Uh, it's it's not even funny. There's a lot of tier fours that just don't even have the health to survive one shot from this tank and there's no way in hell you're ever gonna bounce be with that 190 millimeters of penetration so as you can see when you get into these types of matches you it's just a slaughter you just you get in there and you just wreck fools um, but still it's a, it's a top gun you know and a top guns a top gun that's another metal um, added to my pool so yeah top gun 46,000 credits um, 1,143 experience, not doubled. So that was 1,000 experience uh, that I just made from kicking puppies, from destroying <laughs> weaker targets. And I'm pretty sure every single one of these guys died with, with one shot that I shot. So, uh, yeah. But this guy got ammo racked. That was pretty awesome. This is a Tier 6, by the way. So at least I am killing some Tier 6s um, and some Tier 5s and other things like that. But, yeah. The SU-100Y, completely unbalanced in this kind of match. Um, 1,537 damage done. Uh, KV-1 did really good. 1,000 damage done. Wow, good job to you, sir. Uh, 630 experience for the T-49. Good job. We had some really good players in this match. Uh, uh, you know, on our team. This team was shit. They were just... Look at that. I mean, most of them didn't even make it into three digits. Uh, yeah, that sucks. Uh, but when you, I mean, I didn't give them a chance, and this guy didn't give them a chance, and this guy didn't give them a chance. T-49 and the T-34, we just didn't give them a chance. They, The second they were in the game, they were just knocked out. Um, so, yeah, the only one that got any battle merits was me. And you, you're always going to make money in this thing. I love this tank. Um, you know, I don't even have to use premium ammo, and I'm always going to make money in this tank. And it's just sweet. So I really cannot recommend this tank to you enough. It is just a fun tank. Seven shots fired. Six of them were direct hits. That was the one that I missed um, when I shot at the Hetzer at the very end. Felt like a jackass. Um, but every shot I fired that hit penetrated, of course, and did maximum damage, 1,537. Um, I only took one hit. It was a penetration, and it didn't do very much damage at all. So I wasn't too concerned with it. But yeah. Like I said before, get this tank. It's just fun. And I have those videos um, lined up where I'm in Tier 8 matches and I'm dominating. I'm having a great time in Tier match, tier 8 matches. So it's not like this tank is 
I mean, it's it's really really powerful. It's just fun, fun as hell to drive, and I've been just playing the shit out of it lately. Ever since I got it, I've been playing it over and over and over again, um, and training up my crews. As you can see, got them up on their second skills, and yeah. Anyway, if you like the video, leave me a like, and if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Take it easy, gents.